Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you some different patterns you can make using a vertical lark's head knot. First, we're going to make this vertical lark's head pico pattern. For the first lark's head knot, we're just going to tie it normal up at the top here, and then we'll start our picots on the second one. So I'm going to start with my left cord, and you could start with the right too, whichever way you prefer. And what you're going to do is we're going to go around these two center cords. You're going to bring it in front of the two center cords, and then you're going to wrap it around and bring the end through this loop, like that. And then go ahead and tighten this first one up. And then for the second part of the knot, you bring it behind those cords and bring it through the loop that way. Then for the second one, we're going to start our picots. So you take your right cord and you just go back and forth for each knot. So for the first part of the knot, you always go in front and bring it around behind and pull it through. But this time we're going to stop right about here and leave some space in between. And then the second part of the knot, you bring it behind and then pull it through and tighten it up. And then this is where we make our pico by just pushing it up and then it makes this little loop here. Then go back on the other side again and we're going to do another knot. So go in front and around and then you bring it about to here. Just try to keep it the same distance as you did for the first one. And then you go behind and around and through to finish the knot. And then push it up. And then just continue. there you go. You just get these really nice little loops here on the sides. Now if you want to make your picots larger, you can just leave more space in between when you're tying your knots and that'll make a larger one. If you want to make them smaller, just leave less space. It's also important to note that when you're tying these, the two outer cords are going to be your working cords. So you'll want to, when you put your um, cords on your dowel with lark's head knots, you'll want to make the two cords on the outside longer than the two center cords. So you'll kind of have them lopsided. The length of your finished piece is how long the center cords will be. The outer cords will be around four times longer. Next, I'll show you how to make this crisscross vertical lark's head pattern. For this, you're gonna start with three cords attached to your dowel with lark's head knots. These center cords will be my working cords, and these are just gonna act as fillers. So if you do it like this, you can make these two outer cords much shorter than your center cord. Okay, to start, we're going to take the left center cord and we're going to tie a vertical lark's head knot around these two left cords. So you go in front of it, in front of those two cords, bring it around and pull it through and then tighten it up. And then you're going to go behind, bring it around and pull it through and tighten it up. Then we're going to go over on the right, make sure everything is where you need it to be before you start, and then take your right center cord. You're going to go in front of the two right cords, bring it around and through, tighten it up, and you want it to be even with your knot you tied on the left. Then you're going to bring it behind and bring it around and through. And that's your first two knots. Now for the crisscross part, we're going to take these two working cords and we're going to cross them. And it's up to you if you want to go like this way or this way. It's really can work either way. And then you're going to take this cord and tie your next vertical lark said knot over here. So just bring it over here and go in front, around, and pull it through and then go behind, around, and through. 
and tighten it up. And then grab your other working cord, bring it over here, and go in front, around, and through. And make sure it's lined up with the other knot. Keep everything even. And then you're going to go behind, around, and through. And there you go. And then whenever you go to do your next cross, make sure you either, if you want all your crosses to look the same, just be mindful of how you crossed it before. Otherwise, you can go, you can alternate it. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do. Next, I'll show you how to do this vertical lark's head alternating pattern. You can do this with the same color on each side, or you can have two different colors like I did here. For this one, your two outer cords will be your working cords, and your two inner cords will be just filler cords. So I'm going to start on the left, and I'm going to grab my left working cord, and we're only going to go around the two inside cords. So you're just going to bring it in front of those two middle cords. Bring it around and pull it through. Then tighten it up all the way up at the top. And then you're going to bring it behind the two inner cords. Bring it around and pull it through. And then tighten it up again. And then for the next knot, you're going to take your right cord. Bring it in front of the two center cords. Bring it around and pull it through. Push it up next to that first knot. And then you're going to bring it behind the two cords, around and through. Then you're just going to repeat that and alternate back and forth on the two sides. For this one, I'm going to show you how to do a variation of the alternating vertical lark's head knot, where you actually bring in another cord of a different color than your two cords that you have attached to your dowel, and you alternate back and forth in a little different of a pattern. For this one, I'm starting with two of my natural colored cords attached to my dowel with lark's head knots, and they're shorter because these are just going to be filler cords. These will not be working cords. You're going to get a separate piece of cord in a different color, which I have right here, and you'll have it folded in half. Depending on how many knots you're going to tie, you'll want to make it a lot longer than your filler cords. I would go with at least four times longer just to be safe. So to start, you have your contrasting cord folded in half equally. We're going to bring it behind our two filler cords here. Just kind of hold it in place with your right hand while you tie your knot with your left hand here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap around three cords, not all four, for this first knot on the left. So you're gonna hold that cord out of the way. You're gonna go around in front. Bring it around and through, just like we have before. This first one's just a little tricky because you have to hold everything in place. And then just scoot it up. And then do the second half of the knot. Go behind the three cords. Bring it around and through. And then you're going to scoot everything up where it needs to be and tighten it. Then for the one on the right, you're going to take the right cord and you're going to go around these three, the three on the right, and ignore that left filler cord. You're just going to go in front 
around and through. Tighten it up. And then behind, around and through. And just kind of scoot everything up. And then you have your first two knots. Now we're just gonna repeat that back and forth for each knot continuing onward. And then you just continue going until it's as long as you want. For this last one, I'm gonna show you how to do this pattern that I'm calling the buttonhole pattern because it kind of resembles buttonholes. For this, you'll want your two outer cords to be much longer than all the other cords. So you'll attach these ones lopsided so the outer sides are longer than the inner sides. But to start this pattern, we're just gonna tie a square knot at the very top using our two outer cords and going around all four inner cords. Bring the left cord in front like a four, then bring the right cord up underneath and behind everything, and then through. Then bring the right cord in front, the left cord behind and through, and tighten that up. So that's our square knot. Then we're gonna start on the left. We're gonna tie four vertical half hitch knots going around these two cords. So you go in front with your far left cord, in front of these two cords, around and through. Tighten it up. Then go behind, around and through. And tighten it up again. That's our first vertical lark's head knot. Then you're gonna repeat that three more times. Then you're gonna move over to the right side and you're gonna grab your far right cord and you're gonna do the same thing on the right. Make four vertical larks head knots going down, just, you know, in the other direction. Go over, bring it around and through. And then go behind, around and through. And then repeat that three more times. And now we're gonna tie another square knot around all four of our center cords. And that is one repeat of our pattern. So you can just continue repeating that over and over again and keep making more of these loops going as far as you want. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!